I'm Ruth Lewis and I'm a senior lecturer in social sciences here, specialising particularly in sociology, but I also teach modules that some of our criminology students do. And I incorporate my research into teaching, particularly on the module I teach about intimate partner violence. I've done a lot of research myself about intimate partner violence or domestic violence, we sometimes call it. And I teach a specialist module on that. So I, I talk to the students about the evaluation that I was involved in that evaluated different criminal justice interventions for perpetrators of domestic violence. And I think that's really helpful for them to understand how all the theoretical stuff that we look at gets fed into the practice of a research project and that the skills that, that you learn as a sociology student you can put into practice by working on, on a research evaluation like that. Um, and I also use, combine my teaching and research in my more recent interest around activism. Uh, so for example, students who did my intimate partner violence module last year joined me and other people in the community when we did activism around the International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women which is in November every year. And we had a stall in, in the city centre here giving out information, asking people to make wishes to put on a wish tree about what they hoped for um, women who, experiencing, who are experiencing domestic violence. And really what we were trying to do there was a sort of public awareness issue, campaign. Um, I'm also involved in things around International Women's Day every, day, every year and I teach feminist theory on our first and second year modules. So I try to engage the students by helping them see this isn't just about what's in the books and what's, what's quite abstract theory sometimes, but we can put it into practice by celebrating International Women's Day and having public events which raise awareness about gender inequalities or in this country or, or abroad. My name's Mark Cheslick, I'm a sociologist at Northumbria. Uh, one of my areas of research uh, is around education young people and uh, my PhD in the 1990s was looking at the uh, experiences of growing up in South Wales in a disadvantaged area and the difficulties that young people have making the transitions to, to adulthood which reflects some of my experiences I had uh, 20 years earlier I suppose. Um, so I've always researched and taught uh, young people in education. I've done that for 15 years or so. And um, the teaching that I do then reflects those sorts of research interests. So one of the things that we do in uh, the education and youth modules is to look at the biographies of young people and how those are conditioned in a variety of ways. So we have seminar discussions where we might look at uh, young people's biographies. And in the assessment, uh, students, instead of doing an exam or a conventional essay, they get to uh, write from their own experience about their own uh, biographies of being at school and coming to university and how things like class and race and gender have shaped their lives. But then crucially, how they have freedom and choice to also shape their own lives. So that's a, uh, one of the distinctive features of, 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 the, of the module and, uh, and how my research has influenced some of the teaching. Hello, I'm Jamie Harding and I'm a lecturer in the Department of Social Sciences and one of my interests is homelessness and as you can see outside it's a, it's a cold and wet day in Newcastle and not a day when you'd want to be homeless and I'm pleased that in Newcastle we don't have very many people who are sleeping rough literally out in the open overnight but what we do have is a lot of people who are living in temporary accommodation projects and find it difficult to get settled into permanent accommodation. And we look at this in two ways on the social sciences courses at Northumbria. We have an academic element when we think about why are people homeless? Is it because of their own failings? Or is it because of structural factors like lack of housing and poverty? But what we also have is placements, work experience opportunities, where students can go and work directly with homeless people and try and make a difference to their lives. We work with a local voluntary organisation as a number of projects all over Newcastle and some of our students are going to go off and work in homeless hostels, some are going to do some more specialist work helping with addictions, 
Some are going to work with sex workers, some are going to work with a whole range of other groups, uh, such as women coming out of prison. And the students have just been for their induction for these work experience opportunities, and they came back buzzing, really excited that not only would they have a chance to think about homelessness, to talk to their eyes, um, to homeless people about their lives, but they'll also learn all sorts of uh, very necessary practical skills, like how to dispose of needles. And we're very confident in the future we'll be able to offer more students these work experience opportunities. Um, that's not just in the area of homelessness, where we hope to have more organisations coming on board. We've already got an organisation involved that's interested in young people who struggle in education and supporting them. And we expect to be offering some placements with that organisation next year. So by the time you could come along to Northumbria, you could be in your final year. There should be all sorts of opportunities available and I would urge you to sign up for us and to take advantage of those opportunities.